Okay, so I've been playing around with the Raspberry Pi 5 and Twister OS and specifically the Wine integration. I'm using the XP theme which is selectable in the theme twister here but you could go for Windows 7, 10, 11 or even 95. And I've put all of the Wine icons on the desktop so if we press the Windows key and start typing Wine you can see we've got Wine configuration Wine Desktop, Wine Killer, Wine Program Manager, Wine Task Manager and Wine Tricks and all I've done is right click and add to the desktop just because I'm going to be using a lot of them quite often. So I've also downloaded some demos uh, so from archive.org you can get PC demos which don't require a disk and usually come with an exe file so if we go to my documents folder you can see I've got some of them in here. First of all I'll go with configuration and kind of work out what sort of year to use for the system. So you can see I'm on Windows 7 at the moment, but actually most of the games that are in there are a bit older. So we use the web browser, and if we look at what year each one came out. So my era really starts, the first Windows computer I had was Windows 95. So a lot of the games I've downloaded are probably around about the XP era. So I could use XP, I could use Vista, 7 is a bit later, but I had quite good compatibility, but I think I'm going to go with XP for now. So, and there was a 64-bit version of XP. Now, I'm going to pick the 32-bit one, but I did notice if I click on Wine Tricks, it comes up with this. You're using a 64-bit Wine prefix. Note that many verbs only install 32-bit versions of packages. If you encounter problems, please retest in a clean 32-bit Wine prefix before reporting a bug. Now I'm not sure if the 32-bit version would be more suited to the Raspberry Pi because we're not going to run later games. Trying to run them in an ARM-based system is probably just going to be too much. So that's why we try and pick some older sort of retro games because we might be able to get some reasonable performance out of them. So I might have to look at that at some point. And it also says Wine's new WoW 64 mode. This is experimental, not yet fully supported. If reporting an issue, be sure to mention this. And you can see Wine Tricks does this, that install an application, install a benchmark, default Wine Prefix, create new Wine Prefix, and so on. So if I want to do install an application, let's try it on this. I haven't used this bit yet. Okay, maybe I won't because there's, there's all sorts of things in here. That's interesting though. 7-zip, hotkey, CMake. Oh, see, this is more about installing applications into it. So look, we got for instance Winamp, which I don't think is already on here, let's have a look. No, so Winamp's not already on here. We've got Steam in this. No, we don't have Steam either, so I'm going to try Winamp while it's here. Let's see what it does. May send information while installing. Okay, I don't know if it's doing anything now. If we go to Wine Task Manager to see what's running. So no applications, just the processes here and performance. Oh, okay. That looks like it was trying to do it, so maybe it downloaded it in the background. Right, let's close this bit down and we'll go with that. I just needed to wait a bit longer. So next, agree, next. Let's install that. I'm happy to have a desktop icon. Be quite nice to see a Winamp one again. Okay, launch Winamp after installer and closes. Let's just go with current. And finish. <laughs> cool. It's trying to play the demo. Right, where's my sound coming out of? Battery, 40%. Win it. Win it. it really whips the llama's ass. Okay, so the sound is working fine. Oh, so we haven't got anything in our library. I've got some old AOL files here. Let's try one of these. In fact, I don't know what that image is. Let's grab that as well. Let's pop that in my documents folder. And if we double click these. You've got company. Your file has been transferred. Goodbye. You have email. Email. Welcome to AOL. I must have, I must have backed these up ages and ages ago. Web files. Working well though with Winamp. Let's close that down. 
So let's try another application. We've got the Safari browser here. I guess the most interesting one would be to try Steam. Let's try that. Okay, so we have a mismatch. Well, let's continue anyway. And next. Looks like pretty normal. That was a bit quick. Steam is no longer supported on your operating system. I realized that I'm going to have to use a newer version of Windows for Steam. So I've set the configuration to Windows 10 and it's going further this time. I'm not getting that error message. Okay, so it's asked me to sign in. So I'm going to do that on my phone. So scan the QR code and sign in. Yeah, that's working. So let's try and find some things that may run. Possibly flat out too. Oh, 2.3 gig. Let's go for GTA Vice City first of all. 1.47 gig. And install. And accept. It's behaving like it's on a Windows device. Although this game is particularly troublesome on Windows. I've, I've struggled to get it to run on lots of things. But I'll give it a try anyway. I've got a few other things in my library I can have a look at. Okay, so... I've installed a load of games. Let's try Vice City first of all, although, as I say, that usually doesn't work on uh, on Windows devices. Okay, that's further than I normally get. Okay, the menus have come up. I'm gonna go with everything as low as possible initially. 640 by 480. Let's see what happens. Damn it, Vicetti. <laughs> Didn't know they'd ever let him out, boards. It will be Skip past all that. Even though it is cool. I poked my head out of the gutter for um. one freaking second. And go get some sleep. What are you going to do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. Okay, this is looking good. Oh, oh no. Does that mean it's going to quit? Oh, no. That looked like it was going to be great. Tried a couple more times, couldn't get GTA to run. I put Steam in the small mode, which is supposed to run a bit better. Uh, so play flat out too. Doesn't like the display mode, but there was an option of configuration. So it picks up that I've got a G an NVIDIA G4 6800. Display mode, oh that's low, look. Uh, let's go for 640 by 480 guess I'll leave the rest on hardware 3D. Well, it thinks I've got an NVIDIA, so let's go with that as well. Okay, it's happy with the display mode now. NVIDIA. Skip all that. Okay, so <laughs> I won't bother putting FPS on because it's about 8 or 10. I'm trying it though, so all I need to do is play around with some of the settings. Oh, that texture quality very high, so we've got loads of room to play with. Draw distance half. I don't know if it looks much better, but it's definitely coping with it. It's just super, super slow on the frames per second. I guess we go back into that configuration tool and have a little play around with that. So anisotropy, which I haven't really come across before, is the structural property of non-uniformity in different directions. <laughs> so I'm going to put it to half. The menus are definitely much faster in this Steam in smaller mode. And some of the modes might be better on this. So uh, if we do single race, obviously there's all the other cars and the environment and everything. But some of the modes on this are much more basic. Yeah, that's, that's already better. And so I get that you can see that the frames per second are really low, but actually the control of it, it is, when I press the button on the keyboard to turn left and right, it is accurate, as you can tell by my amazing driving. Yeah, that's definitely improved it. Right, I guess we, oh, where's the boost as well? Control is it? Oh yeah. I didn't even need to use the boost to get into first place for that. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so, wow, that was way better than I expected. It was awful before uh, on the Pi 4 with this. So the older version of Twister. So the extra power, definitely good. So Portal I'm hopeful for. And I've tried this on 
Ubuntu, so Linux on ARM, and the performance was pretty bad. But let's see what happens if I, again, let's go into settings and just get everything really low. Okay, so it's far too slow to be playable. You can see I can look around, but yeah, it's struggling with that. I could lower the resolution. Let's try that. I've lowered the resolution, but it's still not really playable, I would say. Let's try something else. Okay, so this is Crazy Taxi, and this is the Windows version. Yeah, it seems to be working all right. Are passengers happy? Not. The brakes don't seem to be particularly good. Yeah, let's look for another fare. Yeah, happy enough with that. So, Moto Racer 15th anniversary. I wanted to get three working because it's got a better mode, but it wouldn't launch. Yeah, this definitely feels all right. I think I've nearly finished this race. I've been enjoying it, so I've decided to try and win the race. Oh no, not with moves like that I won't. Is this it? Is this the final bit? Yeah, that, that was absolutely fine. Might try one of the other modes. Let's go for a bit of motorcycle GP. So I guess space is, oh yeah, it's the accelerate with the wheelie. Probably should have put a joystick in this, but it's still all right with keyboard. The sense of speed is quite reasonable. Oh, I'm misjudging the corners. But yeah, happy with that. That works very well. And if you get problems with something not running, if you just press the Windows key and type in Wine and click on this one, it terminates the process straight away. I've definitely found that lots of other things don't quit out, but that just quits out straight away. So this is Super Crate Box, which is a modern game but very basic. Oh yeah, this is working fine. What's... And some of the weapons are very cool. Yeah, there's no problem with that at all. Brilliant. So Wine is very impressive and having all these elements pre-installed in Twister is really helpful because it's really hard to get it installed on your own. So great work by everybody. Hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.